So you may be asking, okay, how do I make the arrows? And also, I already had a skeleton. Why would I want to make another skeleton? So let's do this. Let's hold down shift and turn on this eyeball again, and we'll bring these muscles back. So let's do a kind of an equerche anatomy bust, put it on our cam view, and then we'll add arrows. To make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here underneath the tool, subtool menu. I'm going to go hold down shift and turn open this menu. If you hold down shift, it'll keep these menus open for you. I'm going to do a merge visible. And you see nothing really changes in here. However, out in your subtool palette, you can click on there, and now we have uh, the merge subtool selected. So now all of our subtools are merged down into one thing. And just incidentally, if you ever have like an 8K texture loaded over here from photogrammetry or something and your machine feels a little bit sluggish, uh, it might just be because this texture is visible. Just go uh, click that texture and then say texture off. So now let's go ahead and make an ecroche bust. So since all these things are merged together, I can go over here, I can hold down Control Shift. You can either do a slice or a trim. If you do a trim, it'll go ahead and fill holes for you. So we'll try that. Hold down Control Shift, uh, click Trim. Let's turn on our polyframe so we can kind of see what we're working with here. And I'm just going to uh, use the trim and the gradient I want pointed downwards because that's going to delete everything below that line and then fill the hole on my object. So I'll go ahead and let go and you're going to see this is the result we have. And if we turn on our polyframe, we can see we already have polygroups for, if we hold down Control Shift and we'll switch back to Select Rectangle, we can isolate the skeleton, we can isolate the muscles, and looks like there's a muscle in there that's supposed to be green or that's green in there. Let's make this so that I can select every single thing on this face here. So I'm going to go down here to polygroups, go to auto groups, and just because I want it mirrored across the x-axis, let's go over here to geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld. Now if you don't like hunting around for things, what I like to do is make a custom menu with all the stuff I use a lot. If you want more information on that, just go to my YouTube channel, Go to the new intro for ZBrush, ZBrush for Ideation playlist that'll walk you through the basics. Uh, you can also grab that and a bunch of other stuff on my Gumroad and QBrush videos if you want to rather download them. Uh, but the first section for that will take you through the real, real basics of ZBrush. So now you're going to see I have a poly group that's mirrored on both sides. And let's go ahead and hit X to go across the X axis underneath my transform menu. There's activate symmetry across the X axis. So I can hold down Control Shift and I can isolate these little skin depth markers here and you can control shift drag. So if you want to get rid of anything, like, you know, if you didn't want these markers on here for some reason, you can just hold down control shift and then try and touch the verts of these. Some, sometimes it's going to be a little bit difficult and you may grab something you don't want. Not a big deal. Just get as much as you can and then control shift drag and then you can control shift tap uh, the things you want to keep. Control shift drag again to invert that and then geometry modify topology delete hidden. Now let's say you want different colors, you know, for your muscles or your skeleton and the eyes and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier to differentiate between the anatomical parts. So that's easy enough to do. Uh, again, since those are all different polygroups, we can just go through and start selecting the muscles. So control shift tap, control shift drag to invert, and then add these selections to your inverted selection. So let's go through here. And if you wanted to like separate the cartilage and the ligaments and stuff out on their own, you could do that. I'm just going to take everything but the skeleton essentially. And if it's any easier for you, sometimes what you can do, you know, the skeleton's kind of really in there, so it's a little bit difficult, but you can go to, you can just grab a little piece of this, hold down Control shift alt and grab just a little chunk, Control shift drag do Control shift a which is under your visibility menu, grow all, Control shift drag and then you can see you can just grab pieces like that as well. Okay, so we just basically have our eyeballs, and our skeleton left. So what I'm going to do with all, if I control shift drag, you're going to see these are the pieces I have split off. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say split hidden. And now these muscles are in their own subtool. I'm going to go back to the skeleton here. We'll just pop these eyeballs out, control shift to isolate them and then do another split hidden. So now we have three subtools. We have our muscles, we have our eyeballs. Let's go ahead and uh, tap these eyeballs to turn the visibility on. And then we have our skeleton. So if I turn polyframe off, uh, right now I have my standard brush selected. I can turn on RGB, turn off Z-Add, and with our skeleton subtool selected, let's go ahead and choose like a skeletonish color. We'll go up here to Color, Fill Object, and that's going to fill the verts of that object. And then I'm going to go over here to the Eyeballs, and we'll go ahead and choose White, Color, Fill Object, and then we'll choose the Muscles, and we'll choose a reddish color, Fill Object.